The S23 Ultra has a 200 megapixel camera, but it only takes 12 megapixel photos by default. To actually take a 200 megapixel photo, you have to click the aspect ratio settings and then choose the 200 megapixel from here. Now you can take some really high quality and detailed photos that you can zoom into as much as 50x. The expert raw, which used to be a separate app, is now built right into the camera app alongside some really good features such as the director's view, portrait video and more. Another really interesting thing that I have found is that if you leave the camera app open and there isn't anything happening in the frame, the phone will close the app automatically after 2 minutes to preserve the battery. Now that's a smartphone. And talking about smart, Samsung has actually borrowed some of the smart features from other devices also. You can remove objects or people from any photo using the object eraser which is available in the gallery app by going into the edit and then clicking these three dots and there you have. And from there just tap whatever you want to remove and the phone will do the rest. It can also crop you or any object from a photo by simply tapping and holding onto it and you can save that as a separate photo. And you can even do this in a video, just pause it and tap and hold and there you go. Another really smart feature that not a lot of people are talking about is that you can ask Bixby to answer your calls. Yep, Bixby. Just open the Bixby settings and from there go to talk to Bixby without wake up and turn it on. That's it. Now we are all guilty of using our phones way too much, especially for social media and putting timer on every single app is not the easiest solution. But in S23, you can simply put a daily time limit specifically for social media. Just go to the settings, then daily well-being, then you'll see app timers. Click on social and put the time limit you want and when it's done, the phone will simply disable all social media apps. And also, if you're using your phone in bed, it messes up with your sleep. And even the lowest brightness isn't enough to prevent that. That's when you can turn on the extra name mode which makes a huge difference. Just scroll down the quick settings menu and then add the extra dim setting and now every time you are using your phone in the bed it won't mess with your sleep. Also instead of scrolling down twice to access the quick settings, you can scroll with your two fingers to access it in a single swipe down. Nowadays we can find free Wi-Fi at bunch of public places but we don't really know how secure that is and s23 has a feature just for that called secure wi-fi it does exactly what it says securing your wi-fi connection you can turn it on from quick settings and it protects up to one gigabyte of usage per month for free and if you want more you have to get the monthly subscription you can also add trusted wi-fi such as your home wi-fi so you don't run out of your monthly usage and use it when you are actually connected to unsecured wi-fi there's another feature to protect your data when you're giving your phone for maintenance or repair. It's called maintenance mode and you can find it in your battery and device case settings. This feature will limit your phone to few apps and also won't allow access to your personal data such as photos and messages until you won't put in your password. And if you think there is something wrong with your phone, you can actually diagnose it by yourself before taking it in for repair. It's right above the maintenance mode in device care called diagnostics in which you can test every function of your phone by performing different tasks. This might save you some money someday and it's actually a good feature to check your device health regularly. Okay, one of the most frustrating things for me is that when I'm calling my friends and they don't answer because their phone was on silent mode and they forgot to turn it off. This feature is just for you. You can put the S23 to mute with the time limit so it can automatically put the phone back on sound mode. To access this, go to the sound setting, click on mute and right there it says temporary mute. Just set the time limit for as long as you want it. There are a few more features that I thought are worth sharing such as in the quick settings if you tap the icon it will turn it off or on. And if you want to see more details, instead of tapping and holding the icon, just click the setting name and it will open the setting in small window. From there you can open the full setting by pressing the details if you need it. And another one is that you can always see what apps are currently active in the background by simply opening the recent apps menu. And on top left corner you will see how many apps are active in the background and you can also close them from right there. So these are some of the features that I thought are worth sharing with you guys. If you really learned a new feature today, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.